Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. Rich here on this uh, Thursday morning. It's the 27th day of June. It's about 3.47 a.m. as I make this. Some of you had a nice little downpour yesterday evening, especially if you live in the river region. That complex of storms that came through produced a quarter of an inch of rain here. I just missed a really nice downpour that just passed a little east of me, headed that way uh, just a few minutes ago here in the middle of the night. Will this be your day today? Well, it could be. We'll take a look at the updated rain chances. I have future radar for you. The weekend is coming up last weekend in June. I have the updated rain chances for here and the beaches, and we'll take a peek into the 4th of July week. Are you ready? High pressure is in control at the surface, but we do see another one of those clusters of storms coming out of Tennessee that will be affecting parts of our state today. But I think primarily, and future radar bears this out, that will affect uh, the western counties pretty much. And uh, I think in eastern Alabama, it's going to be a fairly routine day with widely scattered storms, perhaps. Storm Prediction Center has a marginal severe weather risk co co covering north and western Alabama because of that storm cluster with damaging wind gusts possible. But outside of thunderstorm areas, I think the heat indices will easily be in the upper 90s today to perhaps near 100. The actual high temperature ending up right around 94. I have the rain chances fairly small in eastern Alabama with a low tonight down to about 72. Tomorrow, not much change. I think the rain chances are up a notch, but uh, not great. Still, many towns will get missed. Uh, and as we get into this uh, last weekend in June, some scattered storms on Saturday and Sunday with high temperatures in the low to mid-90s. So hotter, but a couple of more extra storms on the radar over the weekend, so maybe you'll get some cooling relief. The heat building on Monday, we're easily in the middle 90s by then. So let's review. I've got the rain chances uh, small on Friday, but a little better chance over the weekend. Uh, spiking around 40% perhaps Sunday. That's decent. And then back to a 30% chance Monday and Tuesday with temperatures in the middle 90s and heat indices near 100. In fact, in the upper atmosphere by Tuesday, July 2nd, uh, that uh, upper level heat dome continues to build. And that will affect us through midweek and maybe even the 4th of July. And then by the end of the week, around Friday, July 5th, a little trough of low pressure may enhance our rain chances by the end of that week and towards that following weekend. Beach forecast for the beaches from Gulf Shores to Panama City. I took the rain chances up a little bit over the weekend. You see that? 40% Friday, 50-50 chance on Saturday, and a 40% chance Sunday with high temperatures in the upper 80s. Water temperature now at 86 down at the beach. And uh, the uh, rip current risk has gone down a little bit, but still watch the flags on the beach when you're down there this weekend. Alabama receives one million lightning strikes a year. Statistically, we are one of the deadliest states in the nation for lightning deaths and injuries and deaths from lightning peak on the 4th of July. Join me for some shocking lightning statistics on our Weather Extra tonight at 6 and 10 on CBS 8 and ABC 32, the Alabama News Network. Yeah, speaking of lightning, uh, there was a really nice light show yesterday evening. Maybe you uh, witnessed that as well as that complex of storms moved through. Hey, here's the deal. Uh, tomorrow morning's video will be coming to you from Orange Beach on the Alabama Gulf Coast. And otherwise, my traveling microphone goes with me, so you'll hear my forecast whenever you want it across the dial on the Blue Water family of stations. That happens every hour. And uh, we're, everything's normal this morning, live on the radio, 6 to 9, News Talk 93.1, and live on CBS 8 and ABC 32 at 5.50 a.m. and at 6.40 a.m. I hope you have a great day today. I'll see you from the coast tomorrow. Real